Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, Gus? Hello. We are back. Hi. I didn't water my plant. You didn't. It's okay. You'll, so, you'll it's get been there. a week, Josh. You'll get there. Oh, no, it's going to die. It's dead now. Oh. It's not. It's fine. Oh, no. My mom gave that to me. She thought you could take care of it. And <laughs> she was, she was wrong. wrong. Along with the <laughs> desk. Uh, so, last round, uh, most of us got burned with fire. Mm -hmm. uh, that went poorly. Uh, we fought some skulls. We got to see more of what Thok can do. Thok remembered a lot of things that Thok could do. Yeah. That was exciting. <laughs> um, and the <laughs> crowning moment of maybe the episode, Absidy finally used his powers in front of the group. Yep. And uh, fully distracted Rufio, uh, rolling at last two attacks at disadvantage uh, was not fun because uh, I would have hit on, I think, all four. I, was, I think it was like 15, 16, 17, 16. And then I was like, yeah. three, two, five, seven. <laughs> and I was like, yes. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, now that the, the Amber Jackal is done... Uh, we're all just kind of here. We're all drinking a nice ice cold yikes. We're singing hard kumbaya, <laughs> holding hands. Gonna have some pina coladas. Uh, whenever you're and ready, getting lost in the rain. Okay, so uh, we'll pick up where we left off. Uh, Rufio, as you had blasted the head off of the golem, you just lock eyes and you do not stop staring at Absidy as this obelisk of amber just kind of crumbles to the ground and there's a fine dust as it crumbles at your feet uh so i'll just while still staring at absidy i'll call for uh thok and sharp <clears throat> we need to rest clear the room make sure there's nothing else in here that's trying to kill us and i need to talk to you got it so i'll start Okay. Going around the room. Yeah, I'll shut the doors. Okay. Bathroom closed. Casimir is also going to join you. Yeah, Casimir, oh. get your fucking ass in here. So, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Casimir, real quick question. Mm -hmm. I used to have a friend that would magically lock doors. Are you able to do something like that? Um, let me check. And you see him kind of like go in the Rolodex of his head. Um. No, I don't seem to have that. Okay. Just wondering. So. Look around. What okay. the fuck was that? Um, I mean, I think you know what that was. Where, when, how, who, what? <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I, I didn't want you to find out. I didn't think you'd understand. But an angel came to me and asked me to follow it. And I said yes. And I've never followed someone like that before, and I was a bit embarrassed. So I didn't want to tell you guys, but Shart was going to die. And I couldn't let that happen. Shart was going to die? We were all going to die, but Shart was right there. What, what angel has that black... I mean, I'm the, the Raven Queen, and my, my Eldritch is green... I'm mean, a dark green, but I don't know. I couldn't get his name. Insight. You can roll insight. Uh, you'll roll deception for the name. <clears throat> I'm so excited. My insight's terrible. Oh! <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he seems pretty truthful. <clears throat> Has. I mean, the Raven Queen talks to me. Has he talked to you outside of getting powers? The the only thing he's told me is that I need to use my powers. He prevented me from, I guess, continuing to lie to you guys. I wasn't letting my powers out. I wasn't contributing to the team. And he said, use them. So I did. He said, you're going to die. Not me, but the team. So far, so good. I mean, if you have any questions or... I've been dealing with the Raven Queen and, and obviously Whore, and if I can help in any way, you know, let me, let me help you. This isn't something you had to keep 
from us. Especially if it's something that could have helped us, you know, in the past. I know. How long have you had the powers for? Not long. <clears throat> since just before our journey. Here, to Amber Temple. Josh, can I see your notebook real quick while you're talking? Thank you. I don't need your pencil. Okay. I just want to check something. I'm just in shock. But I gotta say, do you remember when we were outside fighting those vampires? Yeah. Okay, so I can share this with you now. Did you see... Which which side of the battlefield were you on? Uh, The one where dirt went down. The other side. Okay. Yeah. It was fucking sick. I took holy water and threw it on the vampire. Yeah. Hid in the ditch. And then put a, an illusion. Because you can do that too, right? Allu no, I haven't done any illusions. Oh. I can like make myself do and I'll like change an absidy. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! <laughs> I can do that but over here and I do a little minor illusion mm -hmm. and it's just like another me. So it's three of us. <laughs> I just want to start doing hey, this. And Casper goes, this is my fucking nightmare. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, As guys. I open the room, I'm just listening this whole entire time. You hear, ho, 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 ho. Okay, okay, so wait, hold on, hold on. <sighs> wait, so I thought they weren't in the room. No, we no, were securing the room. Yeah. Making securing sure that the, the room, room is. But you guys just, he's not. I mean, we're in, we're in like a corner, like hushed <laughs> tones, not necessarily. You probably, you're, I don't know if you'd hear I necessarily. I have dark vision so I can see everything that you guys are doing. Oh, yeah, you can. But you might, you wouldn't know that the illusion was him. You, it could have been me. No, if he made the illusion, it's him. Yeah, but I can, if I made myself... You don't know that he has the power to do the illusion stuff. So but you guys I'm impressed. still going to look yeah, over and over. see three of Absidy and be fucking confused. Yeah, that's fair. I just, you wouldn't know that it was Absidy that did it necessarily. Well, yeah, fair enough. But I'm just going to look over as I'm locking the door shut and securing it and say, oh, what the fuck? And as I'll, he does that, I look at you and like, don't, don't I'll, let him know. I'll like do a cutoff and, and try and like sink, like look at Absidy and try and get him to like sync up the to get the illusion to go away. So I'll go like this, and I end it. And then I'll I'll drop my mask of many faces. Sorry, we just got excited. There was we're sharing stuff and like. No man, I got hit in the fucking head a little while ago, and seeing three of you guys, I thought it was all right. <laughs> but Jesus Christ! I just I, I can tend to that, and I'll like. <laughs> I have. I, I, to his wounds, I was gonna say I short rested, so like, uh, I'm, I'm not <laughs> actually healing you. I'm just like trying to distract you from like the private conversation that they're trying to have. Uh yeah. It was just I was like it was just showing Absidy some new stuff I can do. Oh no, man, that's cool. Just uh, hitting the head, see three people. I got confused. I'm happy that I'm not seeing multiple people, but Jesus. I'll change in a shirt. I'll change it to shark. Oh, what the <laughs> fucking hell? And I'll just start dancing. <laughs> oh, there's three sharks. I mean, I I'm not going to lie. Head? You guys look a little bit better this way. <laughs> I'm going to drop it. <laughs> oh, God, you're ugly. Just face like... <laughs> I'll drop mine as well. I just wanted to join the game. I'm like, we're just changing it to each other. Why not? I'll change it in the thock. Oh, you don't want that one. <laughs> and I'll just kind of look around. <laughs> And drop it. Um, <laughs> are we done showing our dicks now? <laughs> I'll change into Casimir and just pout. <laughs> oh, wow. You do that really well. Thanks. Do we it's because you're pouty. And I'll drop it. What's do, up? Do we find anything while we scope the room? Um, in that area... Choo -choo -choo -choo. Nah. Okay. You just see a lot of the, the debris <clears throat> from where the stone golem... Whatever came in, you would see, like, skeletons just kind of pulverized... In their like sternum of whenever this thing just put its fist down. I'm gonna throw some hit dice. Just yeah, so go yeah, for it, guys. I, yeah. I did that. Oh, well. short rise, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah you guys got it. Well, when we were um, fighting this thing and I had the, like a jackal, it, was it a similar jackal that I would know, or was it a different we'll, type of jackal? We'll move on to the next okay. sesh. Okay. How many am I rolling? What am I at? <coughs> they are fun. Your dice plus your con. Con. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which I noticed that we did that wrong. Come on. Bah. Which technically it didn't change mine because my. I'm sorry. I have yeah. so much high hit dice. I rolled a d12. I, I'm a barbarian. I, I <laughs> I'm a barbarian. Wait, what did we do? Wrong something. Last time? Uh, we we, we had you had your con. Uh, we were at in the last episode. That's up right now. 
Mm-hmm. We had it. We had proficiency. Oh, got it. Which, oh. it for me, con and proficiency are the same. So, like, it was accurate. I mean, it adds it for me. So Yeah, I don't, it says it in here. Yeah, it does it for me. I don't add it physically myself. Oh, so you gotta do it different. But yeah. You take the, the average then? No, what, I'll roll again. the die and then I add the die and then the, it, it adds whatever else. Understood. Is, is in there. Uh, okay, so. Mine where do we where do we go now? So you where got we... two facing you. You have a balcony, yeah. and then past the balcony, you have another room. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm also at full. Uh, so I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll go out on the balcony and look around to see if there's anything. Uh, so you're looking at the balcony? Yeah. Uh, so this black marble balcony, 30 feet above the floor, overhangs the northeast corner of the temple. The two amber doors leading from this balcony stand open. Um, and then you can kind of see a arrow slit west of the northern set of doors. So, no, good call. the doors that are kind of here, you can kind of just see arrow slits there. Mm. Okay. Should I, should I have the the battle map up for this? No, it's, no. Not, it's not important as far as theater of the mind. This is more reference for you guys. Okay, okay. gotcha. Uh, I guess I'll walk out onto the balcony. Okay. Uh, and again, let everyone know we should probably be quieter. As and as he walks out, um, actually, let me make sure it's not a it's a cantrip. Yeah, um, it's not a cantrip, but I can I just telekinetically tell him just say thank you. Hello, Raven Queen. <laughs> it's Absidy. Dad, oh. you can reply to this message. <laughs> Dad, you don't have an English accent. <laughs> So as you move into this room, there are two doors, though the ones that are close to the left with the arrow slits, and then there is uh, Shibengi to the right. I will cast my Unseen Servant mm-hmm. and send him through the doors that are open. Um, At this point, I might as well do that, too. Oh, uh, do you want to send him to the other? Yeah, I was good. Well, I guess this is a small room, right? Yeah. So I'll hold off. Okay. But next time we do a big one, I'll... Okay, so you're gonna have him go right to where it's open. Yeah, go right and through the through the doors and just kind of walk around, stamp around, see if there's anything going on. Okay, uh, and it slowly comes back in. Okay, uh, I'll go in the room and just kind of look at everything. Okay, this bare stone room consists of a foyer to the west and a shrine to the east. Four candlesticks lie on the dusty floor of the foyer. In the shrine, fragments of a shattered obsidian statue are scattered in a raised alcove at the eastern end of the chamber. Two pairs of empty alcoves line the north and south walls of the shrine. So it looks like basically the the golem was in there and just knocked over a fuck ton of stuff and just pulverized the statue to nothing. And it's an obsidian statue? Yeah. Can we start collecting those pieces? Yeah. Cool. Just random obsidian. Yeah, just, I mean, you never know when you're going to need it. And then sell it. Anything else? Uh... Is there any other doors in this room, or it's just kind of... You can roll an investigation to see if there's anything secret snack. Oh, that was... It was an 18, and then it rolled into an 8. Nah. Uh, yeah, it's an 8. No, don't see anything particularly interesting in this room. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, anybody else want to do anything in here? I don't see anything... <clears throat> now, is that Put the a, obsid- uh, obsidian in the bag of holding. Is that a little yeah. door to the left? Yeah, that's where the arrow slits were. Oh. I'll, I'll roll investigation, too. Okay. What, in the room that Rufio was in? Yeah, we're yeah, all did, in there. Did we all walk in? Okay. Yeah. okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? 18? 17. 17. Okay. As you are kind of running your hands along the walls, you hear a satisfying click. And a little, uh, I didn't draw it because that would be giving things away. Um, sorry. Uh, there is a little hallway that kind of hooks to the right, and you see stairs that descend. I found some stairs. Okay. Stairs are scary. Option, we, so we said we wanted to clear the top first. Do we want to follow the stairs because they're secret and cool, or do we want to go where that undead thing was? And try and figure out what the hell's going on over there. Fuck, how dangerous do you think <clears throat> that undead thing is? I can't. T- all I can sense is that it's undead. I don't know how strong it is. I can't tell what it is. That's the only blip that I can get. Yeah. All he knows is it's undead and he's going to kill it. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to kill it. I'm not a big fan of undead. Casimir? Casimir? If I may make a suggestion. What's your suggestion? Isn't that where the skulls were from? 
it would it be wise to go through the top before we deal with we don't know how many are down there yeah no good call good call so somewhere else could yes. be something of use up here yeah I'll follow you yeah we'll we'll come back out and wrap around okay. and then when we get to I'm assuming these are doors <coughs> yeah like that's a door correct I will um do you want to close the so, yeah, if you want to kind of before. swivel the... Oh, yeah, I'll secret. close the... Yeah, the you'll swivel it, but now that you know where it is, you kind of put a rock in front, so you're like, this is the rock. If I push it there, that's where it is. I will... Um, where are you? I'll use my divine sense mm -hmm. uh, to see if I get another... If I get the uh, undead ping. It's within 60 feet. Uh, I can detect good and evil until the end of my next turn. You sense anything affected by the hallow spell. Know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that's not behind total cover. I mean, because you don't, I don't know if you would feel the ping out here, 1, 10, 15, 20. I mean, you feel the same thing that you would have gotten that, uh, Barakot. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still in there. Uh, <clears throat> I'll send, uh, th is this door closed? Yeah. Okay. That's this one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're right up on it. Is the uh <clears throat> I'm gonna send my unseen servant under the door. Okay. Uh and just send him in the area mm -hmm. and tell him to uh, to do like one one knock if it's safe to enter. And you hear a little like Okay, and we'll open the door. Okay. Is the door locked or is it open? No, it's open. It's unlocked. As you go in, uh, torches in Sconson's light this very bare stone room. Light. There are six bedrolls made of stitched animal furs that cover the floor, and cold air enters through a fissure in the southwest wall. I think this is the room that the berserkers were in. That's a safe assumption. But what's undead behind the other door? There's only one way to find out. I'll put the haunted moon blade. I'll sheath it because mm -hmm. we have light now, and I'll unchain the reaper scythe and, okay. and hold it. Uh, is there anything we want to do before we open this door? I'm gonna prep sacred flame. I'm going to first send the unseen servant under the door again. Mm -hmm. Before he does that, because it might trigger something, I want to look through <coughs> their stuff and see if there's anything we can um, take. It's just, uh, it looks like it's their armor and weapons. It's, there's nothing really of value here. It's just kind of rusted. Like, whatever extra weapons they kind of had. So, nothing of real. Am I cold? Value. Since I only have a bath mat? And so I, I was giving you the bath mat, so you weren't cold. Okay, well, they have a bunch of furs. I was going to take one if it was. Yeah, you can take a fur. I'll take a fur. Do, I'll like, give them the full, bath mat. Do a full, like, Ewok. <laughs> yeah. And I write a little note that says, I will bring this back. Okay. He won't, I though. won't. <laughs> JK. I'm true neutral now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so I'll send my unseen servant under the door, and mm -hmm. same instruction if it's safe to enter, one. Okay. Um, you hear a uh, as the uh, you hear something thunk against the door. Okay. Uh, I'll use the <laughs> wand. Okay. I mean, it's not a, a secret door. No, I know, but if there's if there's a trap, it'll tell me, and I want to know if it's a trap or if it's a thing. No, it's there's no trap. Okay, I'll put the wand back, and I'll be like, "Well, unseen servant's gone." See uh, that? <clears throat> heard yeah. that? So, uh, whatever's there is big. Can I, He's... My, Go ahead. can I put my ear against the door to see if I can hear any movement at all? No, no movement. But the door feels a little hot. Is Maybe there a keyhole? There's no. <laughs> so, let me. I'm sorry, I didn't describe the doors. So the doors aren't like wooden. They are just made of full amber on hinges. Oh, okay. Uh, did did that thump change the what the door looked like at all? It did it crack it, it for a bit? It bright. Okay, and this thing's probably on fire. Yeah. It was what? Um, it was green fire. That just reminds me of what we had a fight over there. You think it's more of them? I. There is a very high possibility. Dad's okay. Yikes so, this is what I think we do. One of us opens the door, and anyone that can... I, shark, sorry. Anyone that can shoot something... Shoot it. Shoot it <laughs> through the doorway. Well, I can... We've, since we've taken a short rest, I can 
do what I did with the group back there. Sorry. I could do what uh, we did with the group back there. I can turn on dead. Right. But do we want to save that for... I could do it twice. Uh, then let's do that. <laughs> let, like let, that. Let's open the door oh, first, just to make sure that it's not just one sitting there. I think we can handle one, right? I mean, I we should open the door, and anybody that can shoot something, shoot it, and hopefully... Okay. <clears throat> well, the only thing that I'll say is, uh, if I remember correctly, when I hit it with my maul, it, uh, the, the fire did nothing. So I don't know what your... Uh, Eldritch what... Blast would be. Uh, now that I know that there's two of us that can do it, it just makes sense. The Eldridge did decent damage to it, and I don't know what Thok can do, but... Sacred Flame is Radiant. So... Okay. I'm, I'm, I, not, I mean, I'm just, just checking for you guys. And also, there's two of you that can do it? He has two hands. Yeah. He names his hands all the time. It's news to me. Jeez. You gotta keep up. Come on, buddy. I give, I give you a little look. Uh, yeah. So, I'll tell. Uh, so, Shark. The plan is open the door, get behind it in case this thing tries to barrel through or shoots a fireball. At least you cannot be on fire. So. I open the door, hide. Yes. Okay. I know that that's a new thing for I don't, you, but... I, we know I don't hide well, but okay. I mean, just get behind the door, and we'll shoot. So am I just going to open the door, swing it wide, and then just kind of duck just behind duck it? right behind it. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to peer through the openings on the side of the door so I can see what they're doing. <laughs> I'll okay. stand. Um, uh, I'll, I'm going to want to, like, shield Absidy if I can. Just have him either, like, next to, to my left. If, like, if Shart's on the right, I'll want to be on the left. Okay. Just knowing that I almost fucking... Oh, I mean, you don't know which side I'm going to go to. I don't, but, so, well, like... The, hin the hinge I'm... side, right? Well, it's a double door, isn't it? Is it a double door? It is a, uh, a double door, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll tell Thok. I'll be like, let's be on either side of Absidy. And... All right. And then, yeah, do stuff. Okay. I ready my bow. You boys good? I think so. Alrighty. Yep. Three. Do I have to do anything to open the door? Just it's good to go. I'm just gonna shove it open. Two. One. One. Open. Okay. And bang bang. So. <laughs> okay, McFoley. Uh, so the walls of I'll just give you a description. So the, so the walls of this 20 foot wide, 70 foot long arch corridor are sheathed in amber. The southern half of the hall is scorched by fire, and a charred, cor charred corpse lies on the floor here, under a burned fur cloak. Several amber doors lead from this hall, and three arrow slits are cut into the east wall. Floating in the middle of the hall are three skulls wreathed in green flame. Go ahead and roll... Since you got your advantage, so I'm going to write them down, and then you just give me the, the damage. Wait, we have advantage on it? You're doing a surprise. You're opening it. Oh, cool, 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 cool. For me, it's a wisdom save. It's a wisdom save. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm great. Uh, natural seventeen. <coughs> <You're a> bitch. <laughs> Love you. Do I get sneak attack on are this? Are you hitting all one, or are you just hitting? I'm gonna. I mean, opening the door. I would assume that I'd send them in the same place. Mm -hmm. Um, did you guys decide on an order when you were hitting, or do you want to roll like? I a... think we were all just gonna shoot at the same time. Okay. Okay. So let's. We'll move this way around. Okay. okay. So since Patrick's starting off, we'll start with you. Uh, that's. 12, and then uh, 23 points of damage. 23 points, okay. Was that with the crit? Yeah. I, I rolled double fours, which is upsetting. But <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Um, Still pretty good for an Eldritch Blast. Oh, though. definitely. Okay. Uh, so that's 23. Okay. And then what else? That's what uh, both. You would have arrow. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to move here, so we'll go to oh, Thought Nut. Wisdom, yeah. wisdom save for wisdom sacred, save. sacred Flame. Okay. Would it be... Would that get directed at all of them, or just... Or deck save, sorry. Um, deck save. It would be one. Okay. Which one? The one he hit, or... I, I would say it was the nearest one to me. So we'll say so, that everyone's basically hitting the one. Like, yeah, they're in a triangle formation. I would assume the, the one that's the first just... Thing I, yeah, saw. I, I'd shoot it straight down a hallway, and whatever's in the way is going to get hit. 15. It did not make it. Did not make it. <laughs> 13 radiant 13 radiant nice okay uh sure you're just kind of i'm hunkered behind the door just watching what's happening absolutely uh it was a 25 okay doing 5 10 13 
plus four. 17 points of damage. Okay, and you just incinerate that one. Well, he, did you blast or did you? No, both. No, he both. both. Okay. Yeah. It was radiant or necrotic? Bow. It's what? just bow. The, Oh, it's yeah, bow. I'm sorry. It's his short bow. bow. So piercing. And so. after we all shoot, I'll go, Shark, there's three. And yeah. Okay. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Initiative. Oh my god. <laughs> Cleric. Hey. Plus Wait. zero to initiative. So. <laughs> oh. I only have a plus one. I had a negative one. <laughs> and I had my cleric. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do skull left and skull right. Okay? That makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so 15 and above? 19. Okay. 10 and above? 10. 13. Okay. 6. Plus 6. <laughs> okay. And Casimir? Uh, what did you get again? I'm sorry, Thok. Six. CX. 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 And then... Okay, Rufio, you're up first. I will. Uh, I'm going to give them each two, <coughs> two Eldridge Blasts. Okay. Uh, that is a natural 15. Uh, that hits. Uh, that's a 10. 10 does not hit. That is uh, a natural 15. That hits. That is a natural 17. The, so left will, get the, left will get one, right and the right will get two. Okay, so give me left first. Left is uh, ten points of damage. Okay. And then right gets 28. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Okay. Absolutely. Or no, 20. Sorry. 20? Just 20. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the bow to the one that took more damage. That is 27? 27. 26. 26 hits. Uh, no, never mind. Doesn't hit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> nah. Uh, this this would not be sneak attack? Or would still? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. They're not surprised anymore. They're not engaged. With... Yeah, because we had that first one. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Two? Plus four. So six. Short. <clears throat> you up. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, run through directly towards him. Um, uh, I'm going to ask this now. Are you raging? Yes. Okay. Keep, uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay. okay. You want to go to the left one or the right one? Uh, I'll go to the one to the right first because that's got more damage. And I'll go ahead and make a swipe on him, <coughs> which is a... Uh, uh, 12 to hit. 12 does not hit. Okay, so I'll attack him again, which is a modded 20 to hit. No. <laughs> Miss, bro. Yeah, no, that hits. Okay, I'm going to go with that die, which is going to be a 6 plus 8, I... so 14. 14? It's looking pretty quacked. Okay, uh, I need everyone. I need... Thok, Rufio, and Absidy to make a, a deck saving throw. Balls. Uh, Rufio and Absidy? Or yeah, just it's the whole, anybody it's the in that room? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, you're kind of at the point where you're like, so oh my like, god. You're okay. You're not sharp. You're fine. Seven. You so got a seven? I got a seven. I got an eight. Deck save? Yeah. You Chart, you're fine. Oh, I'm fine? Yeah. These are not in the room. Because you're not like in the cone kind of like area. It uh, was literally this, and then it went. If it's fire, it's halved for me. Okay. I'm glad one of you has fire resistance. Mike, you want to check my roll? Every <laughs> time now. I, I it. did it once. You're like, hey, you can't do that. I'm like, I'm the DM. I do what I want. <laughs> I'm Jesus. I'm Jeebus now. Okay. Uh, you guys take 27 points of fire damage. Hey, that's less than last time. As you 16. take... Yeah. No, four, 14. 14? Yeah. 14. 26. Math is hard. Yeah. Where's yeah. the... Where's it coming from? Wait, no. 26? 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of... One, no, but one of them. The left one. Oh, but yeah, but someone I can see. That's what I'm... Yeah. Good. Well, maybe I'm just trying to run out of here. stank. Fuck, it's your turn. Same. Awesome. Um, I'm going to... Being pissed as fuck. Run in. Because I can go through allies, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to run in. And uh, I'm going to... Orc. Orc line. Fuck it. I'm going to turn on dead. Do it. 
Uh, they need to do a... Wisdom save? Sure. <laughs> sure? That <laughs> yes. sounds good. That sounds right. <laughs> That's impossible. They not wise. They ain't wise. They just floating heads. <laughs> they ain't got no brain. Yes, wisdom save of 15. Yeet! It's on fire. Don't look, Mike. <laughs> um, Takes away the mister. Uh, it looks like wisdom, they both fail. They both fail. Mm-hmm. They are turned for the next minute. So they have to flee. They got they run are, away. Unless they're CR1. No. Okay. <laughs> then they got to run away, yeah. dash. Run um, away. No reactions for the next minute. Okay. Uh, cool. It is now um, Casimir's turn. And the right one's turn. So the right one's going to start moving away from you, Shark, if you want to take an attack of opportunity. Yes, uh, do I, it. I will. What I I'll do, do it. Because it's within five feet. Uh, oh, that is a 21. 21 hits. 23. And that Just is going to be... Uh, 18 points of damage. As both of you just kind of smack into this, the right skull is gone. That is now Rufio's turn. Uh, So the right one's gone? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, attack... Same one, four times, Eldritch Blast. Dope. <coughs> that is not going to do it. Uh, that is a 14. 14, okay. 14 uh, that's a 19. Hits. And 19 hits. And that's a 9. Okay. Uh, 14 so and two hits. Oh, damn it. Uh, 16. 16, okay. Yeah. 16 points of damage. Cool. Man, Force damage. smack right into that mo. Uh, okay, Absidy, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'll run up. Sneaky, 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 sneak. Might do the wags. And then just <laughs> stab him. I kill him. I kill you. All right, for, that's a 10. Okay, so 18? <laughs> 18 heads. So. Hoover stack. Do, 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 do. Sneak attack. 3, 6, 9, Damn 12, five. 14, 14 plus 5. 19. Is he dead? He close. Short. Wait, no, then I use my bonus action. <laughs> you are mother- attack him again. You motherfucker. 12 both times, so 19? Yeah. <laughs> 3. 3 points. Is he dead? He dead? No. <laughs> he not <murdered>? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> he not dead yet. So he, he, he look hurt. <clears throat> yeah, shark. It's your turn. Hit. Crit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Get him out now. That's <laughs> uh, 20... 22 <coughs> plus 8. No. So, 30 nah, points fam. of damage. Nah. <laughs> it just shatters into dust. Move in right along. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. okay Sorry, that was just funny. He's like, nah, not there yet. Okay, <laughs> crit. <laughs> Sick. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you're in this hallway with this dead body. I want to investigate the body. Yeah, investigate the body as well. Okay. Uh, who's getting there first? Me. Actually, I mean, closer, absolutely probably. closer. Yeah, but I, I'm faster. <laughs> well, okay. I, I mean, I, I think, no, you're closer because I jumped over you. I'm going to cast... Eyes to the grave first. Eyes of Wait, the grave. how long does your thing last? Uh, I don't know. Like Until a... the end of my turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so then, yeah. um, give me one sec. I gotta get my phone. Okay. Yeah. I just want to know whether or not the dead body is dead. Is dead or not? Yeah. Or not. Oh, it's deed. <laughs> okay. Like, it's not undead. It's a husk. Okay. It got burnt by these flame guys. So wait, are, is it behind me or is it like in That's front of... That's at the of... end of the... Oh, at the what, end of the hallway. What, what's north? Because you keep saying south and stuff, and I don't know which is which. Sorry. Um, so south is where you guys came from. North is the where my direction is. is. Okay, so that's, that's what north. I thought. So you're north. Yeah, so I'm north. So the body was... Because it, it was charred on the south side, right? You are... South side. South side. Daddy is... Correct. Here. Southern half. So, so yeah, no, that's correct. It's, by, it's it. closer to you. It's closer to me. Oh, I see it. Actually, it's closer to where Rufio is. I'm going to inspect it. <laughs> Still faster than okay. Me. Investigation. Um, I don't care for dead bodies. As long as I don't want to touch no deed if body. It's dead, it's if dead, it's dead, it's dead. If it's dead, it's dead, then it's fine. Okay. 18. 
18. That's a high, uh, that is a high roll. So there is actually a staff there. Ooh, I'm going to take it and okay. put it on my back. Putting it on your back. Stop finding shit. Uh. Okay, give me <laughs> one sec. I just got to give you something. Okay. Is it via text message? It's going to be on a uh, messenger. Oh, word. Okay. <gasps> it's a dick pic. Whoa. Oh, oh man. Not, the staff? You picked up a staff that's a dick? Yeah. Staff of dicks. Why is it so veiny? <laughs> God, this... <laughs> This is the staff of dildo energy. <laughs> you got a plus staff one of for dildo energy. <laughs> it's called the creeper. <laughs> On your bonus action, you can add your second hand. <laughs> What's that? And then you just move them up and down. No, Basically, to, shake weight. That's, that's an athletics <laughs> check. It's the shake weight DVD. <laughs> it's a shake Don't weight do it with animal DVD. <laughs> Here's your item. Tinks. Oh, you know what? Don't. Did you look at it yet? I didn't look at it. Okay, yet. don't look at it. Okay. Delete that. Wait. No, you get it. Okay. Okay. Can so I? So you get that. So I don't. I just. I and get then it. I it don't it's, get it. You get. You get the item when you attune to it. You'll get the information about it. So you got no card yet. Damn it! I didn't even get the. Uh, no, that's not. Yeah, I thought it was you, Patrick, me. right? I mean, I think so. Get on to you got to get on Facebook Messenger. I accidentally oh, I sent it, it there. I accidentally yeah, yeah. sent it to Patrick Stewart's fan page and said, <laughs> <laughs> "This is impossible." Um, John Luke Picard. Ah, interesting. You gonna share with the rest of the class, there, buddy? No, yeah, he's of not gonna he's realize not. some stuff. Okay. All these other doors, are they just closed? Coo, coo, coo. And so, yeah, you're in the... Yeah, I'm going to follow up on Thok's question. <coughs> these other doors that are here on the side, are those closed or are they open? Uh, the doors on... The three doors on the left mm -hmm. are all uh, closed, but they have doors to them, so you can open them. And I didn't sense any blips or anything in the area. Uh, let me just double check. Okay. Um, got the full give me. It's a lot of juggling. There's a lot of rooms. Yeah, right. No. Nah. crawl. There's not nothing really blipping on the behind those doors. Okay. Uh, then I'm just gonna start with them. the first one on the left. Thomasor G it open. Okay. Uh, so stone blocks resembling tables stand in the center of this room covered in dust. Carved into the stone walls are niches filled with hundreds of dusty bottles. Cobwebs hang from wooden ladders that lean against the walls. Uh, ceiling here is about 15 feet high. Hoy. <laughs> the Oy. bottles contained uh, the dried remains of potions that lost all their efficiency uh, long ago. Uh, the ladders were once used to reach the higher niches, but they can no longer support any weight. Is there can is there any bottle that has anything left in it? No, they're all husks. Mm. It can't support any weight, or it can't support much weight. Not a lot of weight, and they're very brittle at the top. Mm. <laughs> That's not me. Uh... <laughs> Why don't you I throw Absidy up? You want to do a little... To the top of the... Just to see if there's anything. Let's do it. Okay. Hop so, just so. catch him this time. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. So you're going to throw him up to the... And then just drop yeah, just a baby carrying. Kind of like do like a, like a like a high, high school cheerleader kind of I was going to say... Like launch him up. Basket toss. Got it. Well, yeah, basket I mean, toss. Yeah, so basket, basket toss. toss. Yeah, okay. get him up. How high up is he? So go yeah. ahead, roll... Strength. Strength, and you roll dex. 21. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Again, every time. What'd you get? Seven. <laughs> so as you go up, it's, it's, you're falling with style. Uh, you don't really see anything. It's kind of so jarring and shit that you kind of hit the, the shelf and then you just kind of slide like, eee. I'll let you do a deck save to see if you can uh, oh, avoid first, any kind of fall damage. My first dex doesn't. The do first anything? dex was to uh, see basically if you could see anything up there. Oh, okay. I guess you get a save now, too, so... Uh, do, 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 24. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> so you just kind of... And you're like, what the fuck, man? Uh, my aim's you, not great. <laughs> do you want help with that? Holy shit. That was ugly as hell. It, it's been worse. Basket toss! Yeah, so I'll help Shart, and we'll try one more time. Okay. I'm just watching <laughs> this happen. So is Casimir. Like, I'll roll with advantage. No, I'm... no, I rolled a 24. Oh. <laughs> okay. You roll him up. Now That's Josh will roll back. 24. <laughs> It's the same kind of dried husk as you start coming down. Um, go ahead and roll a dex. 
Just see if you land was, safely. I was gonna catch. Well, yeah. We'll, if you, uh, yeah, if you're gonna catch him, then do a. Uh, we are gonna catch him. I don't know if it's a strength. Well, whatever you want me to roll. <laughs> we'll do. Yeah, we'll do a strength. Seventeen, and then at advantage, nineteen. Yeah, you catch him fine. Nothing. I just take one to warm up, guys. But That's that was all it fun. Is. Um, if I so I I just got this weapon. By the way, I know nothing about it other than <laughs> like. That it's what it, it it's, what it is. It's something. It's something. That's it's all I really thing. know. Uh, but if I do a detect magic, mm-hmm. will I also get something from this thing that is now on my back? I mean, you'll detect magic. You'll know it's magic. Like you it's just don't. Yeah, but you I won't know what it. I don't think it tells you what it does. Detect magic. I think it just tells you the For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in any way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in that area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. (coughs) The spell can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Let me see here. Uh, Let me double check to see what it is. D and D beyond. Um. Blap, 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 blap. No dead air. <laughs> That's not singing. That. <laughs> yeah. That's just, usually our fallback. When we're reading. Yeah. Um. Reading's hard. A bunch of nerds. It doesn't give me a school. Okay. So it doesn't really give me an origin. All right. Um. Well, I'm gonna cast it anyway, and it lasts <coughs> for ten minutes. Okay. So do I get anything <laughs> in the room? Um, other than the, obviously the shit on us, right? Or anything in the other two rooms. That well, are I'm gonna run. I'm gonna book it into this room, just to be able, because it's ten minutes. So if I can get in there and detect anything, um, that is a great question. So was that, was that door not blown open? No, they both were. Damaturgy. Just this one. <coughs> open. Uh, I only opened that one first. What's the the range for it again? I'm sorry. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. So it's the whole room plus. Plus Whatever this is. Moving forward, yeah. So you kind of get a ping from this room that there might be something magical in there. Okay. So nothing in, in this, the room that we're currently in? Nothing magical. Okay. So I'm going to blow past everybody and then come in this room. Okay. Uh, and try and, f- like, find it because I can, I can literally see it glowing. Yeah. Uh, so as you go in... There is, uh, dominating this room is a 12 foot tall model of a dark castle with high walls and tall spires. Behind it, tucked in a corner, are ruined furnishings and a wooden chest. Uh, As you go, you see the bottom of this model is glowing. The bottom of what? The model. The model. The model. Got it. I'm going to go up to the model and, like, try and move it, like, push it. Mm -hmm. And see if, if if it's like is it the model or is it something under as you move it you still you see that there is a uh, a wooden chest ooh i want that <laughs> as you open the chest you see that the inside of the chest isn't glowing it looks like there's a sliver at the bottom of the chest between the actual bottom of it and where it looks like the bottom of this is i will attempt to get to it i'll I'll let you just kind of rip it open. Yeah. Um, you find... It's a mimic. Yes. <laughs> you find a demon. <laughs> you find a dick. Again? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot there's of worse things to find. This is the this is the dick <laughs> temple, guys. I mean, Amber temple. Amber likes dicks. Um, Amber's a girl. <clears throat> now, I followed him in there now that he's in there as well. Do I recognize the model of the castle? It looks very familiar to a castle you passed. On your way past Bolovia. So, okay. Do I need to roll perception to see if I know exactly which castle it is? You can, I mean, you can roll perception, uh, but I'll say it's not for the castle. You could just kind of roll perception okay. in general. <sighs> Ten. It okay. just, it looks, you're pretty sure it's Castle Ravenloft. Yeah. I'm going to walk in there and do the same thing. Okay, go ahead. Ten. <laughs> yeah, it's Castle Ravenloft. Can I investigate it? Yeah. Eleven. Uh, it looks like it's a a little miniature model of it, of the castle. Are it's there a- any any notable <laughs> features to the model though? That any like markings? Wood. It looks very uh, it looks very accurate on the outside. Does it open? 
It doesn't really open. It's a solid piece. I'm going to open the middle door. Whatever. And did you say that there was another chest in there as well? No. Oh, I thought I thought there was only a little wooden chest. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do it. In there? That yes. little baby room? This is a 20 foot long, 10 foot high hallway of bare stone and has an amber door at the end. At each end. So it is. There's nothing in so it. So it's the one. There's another door like right kind here. of forward. Uh huh. And then the door that you just came in. There's another door in here. So do we go forward? Let's. <coughs> let's. Let, I out. think we should just clear one area and then worry right. about this other door and the stairs and the monsters and the. So it, this is overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed. North it is then. That's big room? North, yeah. yeah. Who, who walks out first at that room? Uh, I will. I guess because I walked in first. I would have, with this, I would have walked right back out. out. Yeah. Okay. And I would assume Thok was, like, relatively close. Well, no, he was in a different room. The three of us were... Yeah, well, I mean, I assume he would also, like, come out and be like, there's another thing. Yeah. So we would be, like, in close proximity to one Yeah, yeah, I was asking who walked out of the room as we're going there first. Oh, got it, got it, And you have a staff on your back, you said? I do, It's, like, sitting on your back around. Yeah. Rufio, what'd you find in there? It was just a book. A book? Yeah, and I'll just... I'll hold up the book and just be like, book. But it's magic-y. Does it... Is it, is it, does it, do I recognize it in any way? No. No, just a book? Can you read the words? Like, is it like legible? Yeah, I have, a, I have a nerd helmet. It lets me read all words. Oh. What's, his, what's the title of it? What's it say? It's the uh, Tome of Understanding. Hmm. But you already have the helmet. <laughs> I like knowledge. I don't. I'm super <laughs> dumb. <clears throat> okay, so... Another set of doors. I'll uh, I'll pull Absidy to the side real quick. Yeah. As as they're like deciding who is gonna do what, and I'll um I'll just be like, hey, I I know I keep finding shit. It's just with this new these new abilities that I have, it's just <coughs> easier. Uh, here, and I'll hand him the wand. Okay. I already used one, but you have two more. Just be smart about it. Thank you. Hey, if you, I can cast uh, Unseen Servant if you want to pretend it's you. Scout out that room. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so since I've said that I'm keeping an eye on Absidy as we're going through this, mm-hmm. like, do I just see them talking? Yeah. Like, can Can I tell what they're talking about? Can you Your passive Liz? perception's high as fuck. I don't. I, I can't, I can't read Liz, but I have a very high passive. You can roll perception. You can see if you can kind of get the gist. Kind of like just. If you can pick 17, up on things, it's gross. Twenty-two. <laughs> you you oh assume God. either Rufio's going to use unseen servant to go into the next room, or uh, Absti is. As far as like you see an exchanging of the whatever Rufio found earlier. Okay. So as I'm walking okay. away, I'll look at Absti and uh, like have him cast unseen servant. Okay. So I'm, I'll walk away and I'll walk to the door and I'll just be like, okay, uh, cast unseen servant again. I'm going to send it under the door and have it scout the area. One knock if it's safe to enter, and then obviously it will die if it's not. Then you hear. That's two. Sorry. That's terrifying. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. What does that mean? It's learning. <laughs> How could this happen to me? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll walk in. I'll be the first one to go in again. Okay. So as you go into the room. That will. Torches and sconces illuminate a dining table in the center of the room. Covering the table is a magnificent feast that fills the hall with rich smells of cooked meat, sweet vegetables, piping hot gravy, and wine. And you guys can smell that coming in through the uh, the hallway. And you guys, I'm just saying, you guys haven't had like a good hot meal in like weeks, a month at least. Oh, this smells so good. No, be what? careful. I'm going to wait for everyone to walk in. And as Absidy walks by, my eyes are going to go black for a split second. Okay. Just like they did before when I flashed. Oh, like staring at me. Yeah, like just whenever (laughs) I flash, like the way that I flashed at you Mm -hmm. before, I'm going to just flash 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 my eyes at you again. Mm -hmm. I'm a little less freaked out by it this time, so Mm -hmm. I do a little nah face. So as you guys go in, you guys do anything in particular? Uh, I want to roll perception. Just what the, like, okay, you guys roll perception. Where did this come from? Kind of thing. Ooh, eight. Ugh. I perceive nothing. Nineteen. 
17. Yes. 11. Oh, oh I man. I it, all, four. it all looks super good. Ah, uh, this looks so good. But why but, is it here? I don't know. I, nothing else in this place has been inviting. Why would this be? But you remember what I told you that my friend said? Yeah. Beware of the thing you want. But it looks so good, though. And you see Casimir, he just kind of makes an arcane half circle. And as he does, you see the sconces kind of flicker out. And you see uh, the food kind of disappear. And what's on there is just the table. And on it is a, like a ewer, like a decanter that you would use for, for wine. It was just an illusion. Fuck. I was about to but eat that, that wasn't? That, that know, part's I, real. I don't know what that is. I'm not touching it. I'll send, I'll send the unseen, I'll, I guess I'll just be like, I'm going to send the unseen servant to go touch the decanter. Uh, maybe we shouldn't touch things yet. Um, and you see Casimir, and he kind of does another arcane. Um, there is a uh, an aura of transmutation magic around that. Hmm. What does that meaning? Word what mean? exactly? Yeah, I'm not too good with the smart. It's um, you kind of touch it, things happen. But what if the servant touches it? Do we really want to risk that, or maybe can we just leave the decanter here? What if it's something that can help us beat Strahd? You're going to hit him over the head with the decanter? I mean, I... You're going to put him in the decanter? I would be... I mean, that would be a new low for me, but I could see it happening. I don't... I don't trust that. I really think this is what we were warned against. And now Casimir's saying it's a transmutation magic? <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know what that sounds like, but it seems like bad juju to me. I vote um, we don't touch it. I will. I'll cast a divine sense because okay. I can uh, anything celestial or fiend, uh, and obviously undead. And do I get anything weird from it? You don't get like a blip in that kind of regard, so no. There's um. Hold on. No, you don't get anything like that. Okay. Uh. All right. That's fine. If, if that's what the majority think, Thok. I'm not here to get a decanter. I'm here to find answers. Well, let's go then. Is that a door to the downstairs? Let me see here. That is a door to a separate small balcony. Um, it looks It's a black marble balcony overhanging the northwest corner of the temple, and the floor of which lies 30 feet below. Nearly half of the balcony has fallen away, and the obvious cracks have formed near its ragged edge. All right, well, boys, I think, uh... End of the road? I think at this point it means it's time to go down. Should we go back to that secret passage? Secret passage or down to the main hall? Well, we have the secret passage, we have the other set of amber doors, we have the downstairs. Wait, what other set of amber doors? These ones. That's, that's, oh, that's, that's right. That's to another uh, stairwell that goes down. Yeah, so, so we have that's that what one, I'm saying. There's this one. one, there's this one, and then there's the whole downstairs. And then you have the main chamber there. Oh, I forgot about that one over there already. Do the we want to... I feel like the secret one was hidden for a reason. I vote <laughs> main chamber. Me too. Just because... Go with the obvious. It's the it's the place that's readily accessible, and I still need some... some. I will just say... Health. There is a doorway here that... I'm sorry, I didn't draw me that balcony, but it connects at least to there. So you can get to the So upstairs. we can walk so up. Oh, a, oh, okay. Oh, no, well then, yeah, obviously, we're, gonna go so in there. we're yeah. upstairs, not and downstairs. And then, there's a, yeah, so there's one that, the one that you found goes downstairs, but you guys didn't really explore in the middle here, which has another staircase that looks like it goes to... Wait, so this is all part of a balcony? So this is a balcony, and then this is a, a mirror balcony. Oh, okay, okay. It's just kind of Okay, and there's a connecting room to that one that we didn't even go through. Correct. Cool, 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 cool. So let's take this balcony over to here. Let's let's check these two rooms out. Okay, how are you guys going? Uh, oh. Send the unseen servant. Send the unseen servant through the, down through the door again, and have it knock if it's empty, or you know safe or whatever. 
Okay. Um. Yeah. As you go through, it comes back, and it's standing on the other end of the uh, uh, doorway. So we'll, we'll walk through. Okay. How are you going? I'll walk first. Okay. Uh, how much I'll do you follow. weigh? I'll wait. Huh? How much do you weigh? Uh, I think I've said like 185. Okay. So as you go across, is anyone going across with him? Nope. At the similar at a similar time. Oh. No. When I said f- I meant like after he gets <laughs> file by file. Yeah. Okay. As you go, it kind of creaks under you, but you're able to safely cross. Uh, this isn't sturdy. Uh, Thok, Shark, I would stay on that side. Don't gotta tell me twice. Same. So, the Casimir, it's up to you if you want to try going in with them. You're pretty light. Yeah, I'm pretty light on my feet. As... After you. Uh, Rufio, do you see anything? Send the servant in there. See if it's... If I, there's anything I in did. There. Oh, uh, in this he, room too? He's been in there and he came back out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, then I follow, but I'm walking the perimeter to just be as light as possible. Okay. I'm in the room. Okay. okay. You yeah, I'm in the room now too. There. So, this bare stone room consists of a foyer to the east and a shrine to the west. Candlesticks draped in cobwebs stand in the four corners of the foyer. In the shrine, a faceless Ascidian statue stands in a raised alcove at the western end of the chamber. Slumped before the statue are two uh, dissected corpses in tattered garments. Two pairs of alcoves line the uh, north and south walls of the shrine. What do you guys see? Stop yelling. Sorry. He wasn't yelling, he was projecting. What do you, what do you guys <laughs> see? loud. <laughs> and I'll just signal Shark to, to <coughs> like, we'll come back if there's anything. Uh, what is this? I, I don't really know. Are, is it dissected in, in, like, a precise way or in a gruesome way? Uh, they look like they are... Mm-hmm. Oh. Do me a favor, both of you make uh, wisdom saves for me. Mm. Uh, Fifteen. Three. Okay. Um, so, as you guys are kind of talking and Casimir is looking at you guys, you two are both drawn to the statue. And as you do so, you are under the uh, sympathy spell. So you both where the corpses are, there's room where both of you just kind of kneel and absentmindedly you just stare at the statue. And Casimir, I have to roll for his. Casimir joins you. Cool. So time passes for our half-orc friends. What what do y'all see? (coughs) Hello? Guys. Guys. Something happened. <sighs> it's gonna be a montage. <laughs> so, who's heavy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you want to do this? I don't know. We're both. I'm, I'm. He's in full plate, man. I'm heavy and full plate. Yeah. So I mean, I'm probably a little bit lighter than you. How but much do you weigh? I would say. I mean, I'm about six. Four, six, five, and I'm pretty yoked. Oh god! I'm probably at least two forty. Okay. I would say. You want to stick with two forty? I mean, does that sound about right? Yeah. Probably. Six, six four, two forty. Yeah. That could work. That's a pretty big guy. Do you wanna? That's really big. You wanna shimmy across? And how big is it? Like, how far of a gap is it to get into that door? It's not like a far gap, but you would. It's like a. You would. Do if you, you were gonna I try could... to jump, you would at least land once and then hop. So it's at least a one. Half. Well, that's what I'm saying. If I do like a running jump, the balcony's gonna come down if you yeah. come down full force. Well, that's what I'm saying. If I could get a, do a running jump and get into the door, you can try. Oh, the Mercer. Because if you have like a ten you foot, can certainly try. How, how's a how long jump? I'm looking at it. Because my, my long jump is ten feet. Nah. Like I said, you're gonna hit. Nah, not chief. You're praying right now to something. So you're not even praying. You're I'm not. You're just I'm, just just I'm just here. Because I'm a few inches taller than you, so I'm very dense. Yeah. So I'm just, and he's in full plate. And man. I'm in full just plate. Just lay on the ground and, and arm crawl. 
Okay, so I mean, uh, I mean, jump jump wait. seems like a bad idea. So, what do you think I should do? Do you have anything that can possibly help me not fall through everything? We gotta, fall. We got a guidance. I, 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 uh, uh, stand by, hold for show. Look at me. I'm a fucking cleric. I got a whole bag of twigs. <sighs> I don't have guidance. I have bless. But you know who does? Not me. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll I'll do the the absidy route and try and stay close to the wall, so that way. Like, I at least have something if things start to fall out. Uh, I got that. Is there, like, any kind of, like, ledge that I can grab onto as I'm doing it, <laughs> so that way I have something to hang on to if the floor falls out under me? Mm, not really. Okay, well, I don't have much of a choice. You're gonna go quick or slow? Um... <sighs> Think like thoughts. Huh? Think like thoughts. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that is yeah. feather. Stiff as a board. I guess, yeah, I'm, um gonna go subtle okay. like so that I could feel where the weaknesses are so as you go you're like creak and your thoughts just watching like uh, fuck uh. and you're like <laughs> think like uh, emu and white feathered beings and friends <laughs> and slowly but surely after a lot of strain Shart is able to make it across the balcony so Shart what is it uh, so uh, uh, I see them. And as you... They're kneeling at a thing. When you look at the thing, I need you to make a, a wisdom save. A, a wisdom save? Yeah. Oh, this is going to go well. Which, um, nope. I don't have advantage on it. <coughs> Six. <laughs> Shart. Uh, Thok. As you watch Shart, his eyes just kind of glaze over. You're kind of like, I'm just going to look at this thing real quick. <laughs> and then... I'm going to go take a look at it. And then you kneel next to Absti, Casimir, and Rufio as you are staring at this statue. Can I see Sharp from where I am? Uh, no. I can't. <laughs> you can kind of run over if you want to get to the stairs and then use, like, if you had binoculars. Oh, this is where we die. Um, I mean... Shit. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Come um, on in. The water's fine. <laughs> One <laughs> of us. <laughs> I'm going to... Drink so the Kool-Aid. Uh, oh. Okay. I'm going to point Darkbringer in that area, because obviously there's something going on. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to cast Darkness Ooh. in the room. like Because okay. I'm assuming I can see into... Fair. Yeah, room. you can kind of see like um, in the where the doorway in case is. It's something that is visual. Yeah. Just try to break their, their vision. I'll so, let you guys yeah. re-roll your wisdom saves, and I'll let uh, Casimir do it as well. Damn it! What is, is that it? A true dar- uh, darkness or magic darkness? Magic darkness. Okay. What you got? Fourteen. Five. Modded twenty. Okay. Uh, uh, you guys are bugged. But uh, you guys are still in your mind's eye. You're still able to. You know what? Because you cut it off. So they weren't able to see it. They so they wouldn't have anything. to make the. So you guys are on pitch fucking darkness. What about me? You're all. Yeah, you're, you're fine. I'm going to light up. Dark vision. So that's why it's, it's magic dark. It's magic so you can't see through you it. Can't, okay. Yeah. I'm going to light up Eldritch. And as you do, it's just <sighs> like nothing. Oh. It's magic hey. darkness. Well, yeah. I, mm, so you're like. Ah! <laughs> I was going to say, ah! I'm blind! <laughs> I can see in the dark, but I can't see now. But, but at least we can talk but I can now, hear right? Him. Yeah. The world is dark and calm, quiet. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You're fine. You're fine. You're something in there is messing with your mind. I'm there's assuming. A, there's I, a statue. There's a well, statue. You guys are in the same room. You haven't gone anywhere. I just used darkness in the room. Would so I? Do we break the statue? Would I know? I don't know, Ken. Where everyone is? <laughs> I don't know what the statue looks you like. You can kind of like figure it out. Like, okay, I'll I'll be like everybody. Get behind me. And do I know about, like, can I feel? Yeah, you can feel where it was. You okay. Can get, I'm going like, to map it in your head. Close to it, and I'm going to let two Eldritch Blasts go okay. at the statue. Well, like, point. Oh, point well, blank. I mean, like, I'm going to take, like, a, a step back, but just. Um, so go ahead and roll two attacks on it. Uh, that's a 13. That's a natural one. <laughs> nah. Uh,. But then I get attack again. That's a natural two. I would, I mean. And that's a 18. 
So two of four Eldritch Blasts would have hit. Do you want me to roll damage? Is well, that I, mean, a, I don't know if I do it at advantage or disadvantage because you're in true darkness. Oh, uh, wait. For no, he has four attacks. I have four attacks. Right. Eldritch is two. Right. No, I get I get that. But doing the the actual hits because you're uh, in true okay. darkness because you can't you see. Yeah, I mean, I I like felt you can, where, like, and I would have backed up a little. I'll bit. I'll give you the eighteen. Okay. Do you want me to roll? Yeah, roll damage for it. I'm just kind of thinking in my head because it didn't give me this. Uh, that's nine points of damage. You kind of hear like a crack. Uh, Casimir kind of goes, do you think that did anything? I think it did something small. Okay, we- okay. Let's, so we can't see it. We um, can't see shit. <laughs> as we should. Uh, Absidy, do you have any more of your cloaks? Uh, You're all out of cloaks. Yeah, I broski. think I'm all out of cloaks. Do we have anything that maybe we can put over it? Don't, don't there are those guys... furs from the other room. I can go get them. Thor, can you throw the furs at us? What, yeah, hey, hold on. Is our unseen? Is your unseen servant still? It alive? can only go sixty feet before it dissipates. Yeah, but I can. I can get the cloak come back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm not crossing that. I'll be like, yeah. I'll put the unseen servant no, on the other side of just, the balcony. As you guys are discussing that, uh, Thorak, you see a image of Casimir come up. This is my friend. Please give him the cloak. Oh, okay. I go to get the fur and hand it to his this, friend. This Slightly uns- confused. He has an unseen servant as Okay. Well. And he, you see him kind of like walk across and <laughs> you, Casimir kind of like shifts and he goes, okay. And he kind of moves past you, Rufio. All right, I'm hugging it. Um, all right. One. Let me know when it's covered. Two. I'm, I'm certainly going to see if it is. I hope this works. Maybe? Do you want me to drop it? I'm going to turn my back. Yeah, I, I shield okay. my eyes. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to turn, go towards the door. Okay. Where I think the door's So at. as all of you guys are all looking at the door, Casimir's looking up at this thing. I drop darkness. Right. <coughs> and you're all kind of, like, you can see in the room again, you're all looking at the door and you see uh, Thorak like... Casimir. Yeah. Is it covered? Yeah, it looks like it's covered. And as you slowly turn around, you see this rug just barely hanging off the edge of his head of this sta- statue. And he goes, I think we might have to adjust it, but I'm too scared. I say we leave this room. Uh, I mean, you're already in there. You might as well see if you yeah, can find anything else. See if there's anything. Uh, where's the, where is the statue? It's so in that, uh, in isn't that the alcove. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use... The Wand of Secrets to so see if there's in. anything. No. But, um, got it. And they're kind of just like, hey, what up, girl? Rufio's in there too, right? Yeah. All of us are in there. Yeah, yeah. you're all in there. You know, all Everyone perfect. but. Okay. Anyone but me. But our big, meaty boy. A big, <laughs> big boy. boy. Um, yeah, so Wand of Secrets. Okay. So anything within 30 feet. Uh... It doesn't give you a blip or it just opens uh, it. it points If a to... secret door or a trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses points to the one nearest to you. So as you do it, the wand starts pulling you forward to the north of just this wall where you're all facing. So me forward. Okay. So that way. Um, I'd like to investigate the wall. Okay. Um, <coughs> go ahead and investigate the wall. 18. Okay, so you kind of feel your hands around, you click, and there is a very small door that kind of opens. It's not absidy sized, but it's a, if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't know it was there. And there's about five feet of hallway, and then another wall. Uh, found a five foot room. Do you want to go check it out? Uh, yeah. Should probably send your unseen servant in there first. Yeah, well, it's a so you would have to see if it's another like if you can undo the hinge for another like trap door because it looks like it's a secret door again because it's just a wall. Oh, it's just, it's just like this. yeah. So you have like two walls like this. You have one here and one here. Okay, can I check for traps? Sure. <coughs> what are we doing for that again? Proficiency plus. Proficiency, I think perception mm-hmm. is what he said, or perception. investigation. 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 Fourteen. As you go through, uh, what I can only describe as hundreds of skulls fall out of the cavity of this door, like from up top. Um, 
it takes about five minutes for all the skulls to kind of just come out. <laughs> That's so many. Uh, you can work together to try to move all of it so you can get towards that next wall secret door, but it's in that little hallway. It's just like just skulls after Are they? They're like not in great shape, right? No. I'm gonna have Absidy walk back and I'm gonna blast them. You're gonna blast the skulls? Yeah. Okay. Just try and like at least like thin it out a little bit where we could at least like, or he could at least walk unencumbered-ish. You do. Okay. And, I mean, it takes a while. You're just fucking gnawing away at these at these skulls. And after a while, there's just, like, remains of just charred and that smell of just decay and burnt bone just kind of go through the hallway. No one's describing to... I'm just happen. sitting. I'm like, like I, I'm hearing all of this. It's bad stuff. Just it's, just, it, it's just bad stuff. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, Just know if you die, you die. There. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we made it this far. Absolutely. Me. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, we made it this far. So check for traps. Yeah. Go ahead, Will. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen. You can kind of find the latch, and you're able to push it forward. I do that. <laughs> okay, who's going in? I mean, can I fit through it? You're first. Yeah, you can all fit through it. How? Yeah. How is it? Is it another staircase, or we can't see? That's it's a straight. Oh. Okay. Flush into a room. Is it dark? No. It's lit. Yeah, it's well lit. Can it's we lit AF? Can I just peek and see, like, get a feel for the room? Sure. Uh, this is a 15 foot high room and it contains the trappings of royalty, ornate furniture, exquisite rugs and tapestries and decorative stature tree. Everywhere you look are lit candelabras atop small tables. The beauty of the decor is undone by a thick dust of cobwebs. Standing in the center of the room is a very decrepit skeleton clad in tattered robes. Guys. Come here. Oh, what? Go in. Okay. As you do that, who's going in? Just you. I'm gonna go in. Okay. I'll go, I'd go in too. So as I'm the, there. the three, three of you go in, the skeleton turns its face and has red pinpoints of light that burn in the eye sockets. And he goes, do I know you? And with that, we will end the session. Oh wee! Oh Ooh, wee! <laughs> Y'all lucky I wasn't in that room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you guys aren't gonna like check anything. All right, cool. I was like, uh, oh, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm coming after it. Oh, well, cool. <laughs> so find out what that's is. that. Thanks for watching. That'll do it. This was a uh, an interesting episode. We're for sure. We're, we're not even like halfway through the temple, are we? Yeah. yeah. Nah. This that's is what even, we do. We this is even you. the bad stuff. I know we know. Oh, good. This isn't even the bad stuff, and we're all at half health constantly. <laughs> like half spells. I'm full right now. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, full minus my 10 that he gave me outside the thing. Yeah. yeah. So my 10. Uh, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe, uh, share with your friends. Carlos slash Thok will be, uh, he'll be part of us now. So we're going to. Yeah. He's part of us. He's, he's, a, of he's us. a party member. One Family. Of us. Dope. Fam a Lee. Well, um, thanks again for watching. On that. And we'll see you on another time. Remember to go on Twitter and use hashtag fam. <laughs> use hashtag Hobbs and Shaw. Bye. Hobbs and Shaw. Bye. Oh.